DJ Envy might not be the only Breakfast Club host who is on the way to jail. Because according to the new reports, Charlemagne the God might be on his way too. So is Envy about to snitch to get a lighter sentence from the feds? 2023 seems to be the year of everybody getting exposed and DJ Envy is the latest celeb to join the list. And not only is he getting exposed, but it looks like he just might be booking himself a room in prison pretty soon. Because he has caught a federal charge and there are allegations that he's a part of an elaborate Ponzi scheme that has scammed victims of millions of dollars. The idea that someone of DJ Envy's stature could ever get caught up in something like this is wild. But here we are. And the crazy thing is that DJ Envy might not be the only Breakfast Club member who's caught up in this Ponzi scheme because some other Breakfast Club members knew about the entire fraud as well. And according to several media outlets, Envy is about to pull a 6-9 because he is snitching on everyone involved. And one of the names that keeps coming up over and over again is that of Charlemagne. And it looks like this mess is way bigger than we could have ever thought. Now, Envy hasn't been indicted on these charges or even been officially charged. But according to sources, he's expected to be charged any day now because federal authorities are investigating him. They even paid a visit to the Breakfast Club headquarters where they raided them and took away some electronics for investigations. Now, if y'all know the feds, you know that they usually lay low and watch you from a distance until they get enough dirt on you. They only make bold moves like this if they know that they have a lot of evidence to build a case against you. So let's just say that Envy should start checking out defense lawyers. Also, if you are a little confused, let me just give you a quick breakdown. So Envy's business partner, Cesar Pina, recently got arrested for running a Ponzi scheme and stealing money from his clients. Y'all know the real estate business that DJ Envy claimed to be invested in and how he would go on and on about it? Well, according to the feds, his business partner, Cesar, was using the business as a front for a Ponzi scheme and had defrauded people of about $12 million. And he has been charged with one count of committing wire fraud. The feds have been shadowing Pina and the business on the low for a while, slowly building a case against him. The crazy part is that they have had him on their watch since 2017 and they've been a case against him for six years. Child, Pina is never getting out of this scot-free. It all started in 2017 when Pina had the genius idea to renovate and resell real estate properties in New Jersey and other parts of the country. Now, this should have gone smoothly because real estate is a gold mine and can make you millions if you're smart. Well, Pina was determined to be smart and make his money, but there was one teeny tiny problem. He didn't own any piece of real estate in New Jersey or anywhere else for that matter, and he didn't have the money to to buy one. So he decided to start taking investments from people, promising them returns between 20 to 45% on their investments in just five months. Now this should have been the first major red flag to everyone who invested because a return on investment that high in such a short time is almost always too good to be true. But the clients decided to trust Pina with their money because he was partnered with DJ Envy. DJ Envy is a pretty big name in the black community because of his work as a host on The Breakfast Club. So it's only natural that people thought that he was legit and they chose to sink their money into it because of him. Or at least that's what most of them said. And honestly, I think they were telling the truth. I lost a million dollars. And you went in because of DJ Envy. Uh, yeah, I did. I mean, you know, I'd, I'd known Envy for for years. Who says he worked on Envy's cars for years and believed his pitch. He did get back a return on an initial investment with Caesar, but maintains a second investment on this Patterson property went south. If it wasn't for DJ Envy, I would have never invested into Caesar. I lost a total of $64,000. Like I said, Envy had built a name for himself and people trusted the business 100%. But that turned out to be a grave mistake because Pina decided to use the investor's money on himself. He diverted the funds from the company to spend on his very lavish lifestyle. And when the time came for him to pay back the money plus the interest, he just used money from new investors to pay the old investors. This meant that he had crossed the line from being a real estate investor to running a Ponzi scheme, which which is illegal. And the wild part about this is that Pina got investors to put their money towards buildings and properties that he didn't own. He would show them pictures and videos of properties that he said was his and encourage them to invest in it, only to turn around and offer the same property to another investor and get them to put their money into it as well. This way, he was offering up one building to multiple investors, which is just shady. And before y'all come talking about how Envy probably didn't know and how Pina could have been deceiving him as well, several 
Although victims have come out to claim that Envy was actively involved in the business and there's no way that he would not have known. Some even claim that Envy went with them to tour the rental companies. Yeah, the same ones that Pina didn't even know. And y'all, they decided to play in the big leagues when it came to scamming. According to insiders, a company called Amy Flips claimed it had provided Pina with $500,000 to invest in properties and lost all but $30,000. A month later, attorneys for a New York man named Trevor Roman alleged he was owed $280,000 by Pina and his companies, saying their client was one of many who fell prey to these fraudulent and deceptive tactics. In July, a New Jersey man named Paul Peralta claimed that he had given Pina $600,000 in four payments. But it gets worse for Envy because several celebs are also speaking up about how he tried to manipulate them into investing in his company. Go, Envy calls me as someone that he is not speaking to. We have not spoken about anything. And he calls me and starts talking about some real estate shit. For me, that's odd. <laughs> We don't speak. And now you calling me, telling me that your man's with the government and he could get the buildings and there's a list that it'd be me, you, and Queen Latifah and whatever the fuck he was saying because I was walking my dog in the backyard and so I want to stop listening at this point. But that just sounded fishy. You give me some money. We're going to take it. We're going to get this. We're going to get that. We're going to... Child, things are just starting to pile on for Envy, and he even admitted that Joe Budden told him that the business was going to land him in prison. Guys, I'm doing real estate. This is something that I think that, you know, you should invest a little bit of money and try it out, and that way you can do it. Joe Button told me it was a Ponzi scheme and I was gonna go to jail. He should have listened to Joe because he would have saved himself a whole lot of trouble. Now, at first, Envy tried to deny the allegations. Now, Caesar, if he took money, I wasn't privy to it, nor did I even know. But I do understand how people feel if they did give him money because I gave him a lot of money Jesus. that I didn't see a dollar of return. But for, for anybody to say I was involved, that's totally not true. I would never. He also claimed that the reason he even got involved in the first place was that he wanted to help the black community grow their wealth and make smart investments by giving them the information they needed. So Caesar and myself did seminars. Now, the reason I did these seminars is because I wanted to uplift my community. I wanted to teach my community about real estate, things that I didn't know when I was first buying my first home. I wanted to teach our community about investing in generational wealth. He seems bold in public, but according to insiders, the reverse is the case because he is actually terrified. He knows that the feds have built a case against him and he risks going to prison for a very long time. So he is desperate to do anything that's going to keep him out of prison. And the streets are saying Envy is trying to negotiate a plea deal with the feds in exchange of his cooperation. And that brings us to Charlemagne. Now, according to People, there is no way Charlemagne didn't know about this. And Reports are saying that this is probably why Angela also left. In case you didn't know, Angela is also involved in real estate now and she helps formerly incarcerated women in New York State obtain housing for when they come out of prison. So if I was her and I heard about Envy pulling housing scams, I'd want nothing to do with him either. Well, it looks like people are convinced that Charlemagne is just as guilty and as this person put it, Charlemagne knew something was up. He laughing a little too hard at Envy in those clips when guests come at Envy about that real estate. But do you guys believe that Charlemagne was really involved or do you think that Envy is just grasping at straws? Drop your thoughts in the comments then check out this next video.